Annie, Laurie, and I just got back from Iceland. We had a great time there. We were there 13 years ago for a meeting of the local humanists. It's called Sidment. We went back again this last month because the Humanist International held their General Assembly in Reykjavik, Iceland, and FFRF just became a member of Humanists International. Humanists International has, I think, about 160 groups all over the world, non-religious, secular groups, humanist groups. So we are now a major member of that, and we went to our first General Assembly there um, at the end of May. There were many countries represented, African countries, Ghana, for example, uh, Rosalind Mould, who is promoting humanism in West Africa. She, by the way, was just elected to the board of Humanist International. It's a great story about promoting free thought and humanism in countries where it's very difficult to do so. Uh, people from Latin America, Puerto Rico, uh, Colombia, and of course the Nordic countries were there, Finland and Sweden and uh, Norway, European countries, the Philippines. So it was a pretty amazing, truly international, all in one room. It was just uh, really an electrifying experience. The SIDMET conference, which was on Saturday, was titled uh, The Ethical Issues in the 21st Century. So there was talk about climate change and about refugees and what are humanists doing? What is our position on dealing with many of these ethical problems uh, in the world? And that was pretty enlightening. And then the second day was then Humanist International, basically an assembly to discuss the workings of Humanist International, but we heard a lot of stories from humanist groups around the world, including in countries where it's illegal to have a humanist group in parts of the world. The common themes that we all have, of course, is fighting oppression and women's rights is a big thing, and gay rights also seems to be the common themes, fighting the uh, efforts by the religious right and the religious nationalists in these different countries to try to oppress human freedom. The Freedom From Religion Foundation is a United States organization working to uphold the First Amendment to our Constitution, which guarantees religious liberty for all of us. The rest of the world has the similar problems, but with different governmental structures. So some of them don't have a Bill of Rights. They might have a Charter of Rights. Some of them have no rights at all. So the issues we are struggling with here in the United States are universal um, when it comes to freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. As Thomas Paine said, my country is the world and my religion is to do good. So FFRF wants to be a part of the, the rest of the world as well to maybe offer some of our help to them, to some of these smaller groups and medium-sized groups that are just starting up who can learn from groups like ours but also for us to learn from them what successes they are having in their particular country. And uh, it, there's a lot to be gained by viewing all of us as just one huge human family.